My name is Annie Banerjee and I have been practicing immigration law, especially business immigration law for the last 20 plus years in Houston, Texas. And today I'm going to um, give you um, what a scenario, what we are seeing on H-1Bs. Um, before I start, let me say that there is an unprecedented amount of denials and we are not talking about illegal people we are talking about business immigration visas um, these denials even though trump has said we need the best and the brightest that is not what's happening the administration is being ruled by just prejudice they do not want immigrants in this country period and that is the Trump administration's actual policy. Let's start with H-1B. Um, actually, before I go there, um, yesterday the, the president of Harvard went and, and uh, talked to um, the uh, Harvard University, I mean, uh, talked to Congress about how many of their students and professors are being denied to come in. Um, Harvard's um, faculty is one third foreign born, and yet now these people cannot come into the United States because of denials, and it makes no sense. There is no legal ground for denial. It is just happening for no reason. And um, this, this denial uh, is like, they don't care. CIS officers don't care. They are denying a case based on nothing, even though you prove everything. And, um, and then the AAO, the Administrative Appeals Unit, is rubber stamping everything that the CIS does. And so the only option for people who meet every criteria in the law is to go and sue CIS. And um, that's that's basically um, what it is. Now, business do not want to sue CIS, mainly because uh, it's expensive and it takes time. And business does not have the time to just stand around for um, a lawsuit for an employee. Um, and in that perspective, I will talk about specialized knowledge. According to the law that was crafted um, for H-1B um, under section 101A15H small i b, um, the, the job, the immigrant will be coming here in the United States to perform a job that requires specialized knowledge. Specialized knowledge is defined as something, a job that will, cannot be performed with anybody with at least a bachelor's level of education. Um, that would be a four years bachelor's degree or a combination of bachelor's and master's or education and experience. The CIS recognizes that three years of experience is equivalent to a year of, um, uh, of coursework. Um, and I don't think there is any rejection based on the fact that the employee does not have that education. No, they cannot reject it on that ground because every employee does have that education. So CIS is denying cases based on the fact that the, the job does not, is not a specialized job. Um, we are giving CIS detailed job description. We are giving them um, expert opinions. We are giving them opinions from the end project everybody two three four expert opinions and cis is not even looking at that the officers are just copying and pasting from various things um, the denial there is just nothing but uh, but the but the, the denial of justice based on no grounds whatsoever 14th amendment violation um due process as well as uh, i mean 
it's it's just what's happening is beyond comprehension there is no rule of law right now um and when a person gets denied based on the job description it's for flimsy reasons um if it is appealed to the administrative appeals unit um which is supposed to review it de novo they are not actually reviewing anything they are just rubber stamping cis's decision um this administration does not care about the law this administration also do not care about the best and the brightest they don't this administration is motivated by sheer hatred hatred for immigrants no matter what their color creed um religion sex or whatever it is um and um the only way to actually do anything about this is to sue the cis in federal court now that would be excellent because the federal court justices would see um whether the definition of the of the uh, law is met and it is met so but businesses do not want to spend the money or the time suing for an employee they would just rather get on well what will be happening is that all these jobs will just be transferred offshore and um, americans will ultimately lose out thank you